This cartwheel transition out to a twisted grip handspring is an advanced transition into a twisted grip handspring. Before moving on to this transition or attempting this one, make sure that you are solid in your twisted grip handspring um, and very consistent with it, okay? Because this is kind of a funky transition, so you wanna make sure that you're very comfortable in the finishing position, which is that twisted grip handspring. Um, so for this one, there's a couple variations on this of how I like to teach this. One of the variations oftentimes feels less scary for people, but I find it takes a little bit more shoulder flexibility. The second way sometimes feels a little bit more scary for people, but if you have tighter shoulders, you're more likely to have success with that one, okay? So let's look at the um, slower version, the one that's a little bit less scary for most people to start. I'm gonna go from a pull sit, you can go from a climb, you can go from a sit, whichever. Um, and I just wanna be high enough that I have room to drop down into my handspring. Okay, so from my pull sit, if I'm gonna end up in a right twisted grip handspring, I'm gonna lean to my right and have my right hand low, okay? The next step is I'm gonna take that same right leg around to the other side to put me into a meat hook, okay? So I'm gonna lean to my right, I've got it into my left hip here, take that right leg around to my meat hook. I'm gonna drop my head, bring this arm over my head. It's gonna slide as that leg comes over to come out into my handspring, okay? So with that one, oftentimes people have a hard time reaching the arm to the pole. Um, once again, like, so that's a shoulder flexibility issue sometimes, an active flexibility. What will definitely help you be able to get that outside arm to the pole, think about dropping your head so that your shoulder comes all the way to the pole, okay? Oftentimes people are in it, they're out here with their head kind of lifting up, and not sure why they can't reach. So when you get into that meat hook position, your butt is up here, head, legs, think about dropping your head as close to the pole, and then you can bring the arm across with a thumb up, and then, well, I'm upside down, thumb up, <laughs> um, and then slide it down to transition into that more traditional handspring hold. If you're comfortable doing handsprings with this bottom hand hold, that's totally fine too, um, but if that, hold is new to you, try to slide it to the fingers down into the more traditional bottom hand. Okay, so one of the spots where people get stuck here uh, after that shoulder issue um, is they don't slide the bottom arm enough. Okay, so what's going to happen is you're going to run into a little bit of an impasse. You're going to get into that meat hook, you're going to get your hand to the pole, and you're going to feel stuck. Once you start to get your hand to the pole, that top leg has to start coming up. The problem here is that you are not yet gonna have your hands in the final position for the handspring. So for a lot of people, they don't wanna release that leg until their arms feel like they're secure. The problem is your arm is not going to be able to slide far enough to get to that secure destination unless you start to take that leg up. Tough one, huh? So this is why I said you wanna make sure you're 100% secure and solid in your handspring because you have to trust that you have your handspring on the other side, that as that leg starts to come up, that hand slides at the same time, okay? So now with that in mind, and this depends on flexibility, the more flexible you are, the more you can get away with sliding the hand before your leg starts to move, but think of they should be happening roughly at the same time, okay? So with those pointers in mind, let's look at it again. Think about where my head is going and then where my leg goes as my hand slides. Okay, so you can see how they kind of all have to happen at once. So that's the variation that goes knee hook out into the cartwheel. There's another way for those of you that are maybe struggling to be able to grab on or you just want to take that step out is we can right away go into the grab from the sit. So with this one, um, you have to slide the hand sooner. Okay, so oftentimes I have people start with this first way because you want to start to get comfortable with that hand slide and sliding even though you don't feel comfortable. Um, because with this one, a lot of people get stuck in this position, including myself, when I just started working on this trick. Um, I remember getting stuck it and I couldn't figure out why I wouldn't get through. The problem is, is that once again, 
unless you keep sliding your hand, you're going to get stuck, but we don't want to slide our hand because we don't feel secure. Okay. So from your pole sit now, that hand is still going to stay crossed. You're going to lean. You're going to reach down between your legs and then everything happens at once. So still the same principles, drop the head, hand slides, leg slides, just the starting position's a little bit different. But I found that for people that have tighter shoulders, um, that are unable to do the reach overhead, this one actually is easier for them, easier for them because they're already holding on to the pole. Okay, so let's look at the variation on this one. Okay, so I'm in my pole set. I'm gonna lean to the side. I'm gonna open my legs in a little bit of a scissor, and this hand is going to reach through. Slide. Out. Okay, so the hand is already on the pole from the very beginning. Um, sometimes it feels a little awkward at first to grab. I find it's actually harder to go slow in it. It's much easier to just cartwheel quickly out of it than it is to go really slow. Okay, so lean to the side, open the legs enough that that hand can reach through. Something to keep in mind, that hand that reaches down, it's not grabbing. Resist the urge to actually wrap your thumb and instead just think, place your hand on the pole and you wanna think about pressing into the pole as you slide down, okay? So let's look at that transition one more time. Okay, lean to the side, scissor. I've got it in my hip, just like in both transitions. Hand comes through. So that is the cartwheel out into the twisted grip handspring. If you have any questions on this move, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you have requests for future tutorials, please leave those in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this tutorial or you have a friend you think should try it out, please share it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and come back weekly for new tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.